Well, here we are. Living the life of a farmer. Didn't catch anything. That's okay. Well, having all my crops grow, they look nice. Oh, yes. Straight up nice level 1 enchantments. But you can see that I have 30 levels. I'm going to use those 30 levels on a diamond pickaxe. Also, I got a cat. I named him the Black Knight. And the meowing really annoys me. So today we're going to build a tiny enchantment room to start off the episode. Um, but first let me show you the mine. The mine's right here. It's simple, but I like it. This is my mine room. These are all double chests with stairs above them. I use some spawner mossy cobblestone. Toss that on here, it looks good. So I've got just lots of cobble and stuff. So my resource chest is like right here. Got quite a bit of resources in the past couple days. Wow, it's just waiting for enough bookshelves to build the enchantment room. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let's grab this and this. Oh, actually, let me, uh, I'll just show you how I strip mine. I do branch mine. It's a lot safer. I had 40 levels twice, actually, and died with them both times because I found a cave and one in it. Yeah, even with full iron armor with protection... A creeper next to me was able to one shot kill me. It's a little disappointing. So when I'm done with a mine, I just block it off with fence. And usually I end after I hit a cave or something. After I hit a cave and explore it. And I've died twice exploring them. But I really like the way um, that system works. It's pretty safe. As long as you're not dumb about the caves. And I made some pretty dumb mistakes by continuing when I shouldn't have. But it's okay. <laughs> I almost freaked out while I was doing it, but I survived. Got a good amount of coal. I cook all my iron there. I've got a lot of iron, a lot of redstone. And then 11 blocks of diamond. It's not bad. This is what we'll be enchanting. And probably should have come up with a plan for this room. We'll decide as we go. Ugh. Also have, like, no arrows. I have three. Those are only from killing skeletons. But... It's never happened to me. Hopefully they're not a creeper, because the black cat's put... Got... You're supposed to help with that. The black knight doesn't always do his job. It's okay. Alright. So, obviously, we don't have a whole lot of space. This is where I've chosen. Do I have any... Okay. I think right there's a good spot. I'm sort of doing this on the fly, so I'm just thinking it out as I go. I'm going to need some more of these. Ladders. Oh. Oh. I made a 
made fences, my bad. So, I want to be a couple blocks under that. So I have plenty of space for a high ceiling. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to build it yet. Actually, let's go this far down. Yeah, that'll work. I might need some more logs. We'll see. I have an extra crafty. Nope. I'll make one because I don't want to keep having to come back up here. Could have done this one down there, but that's okay. So for sure, three highs. Oh. Of course. Of course there's one of these right under my house. Um, let me get rid of this. I'll be back in just a second. Alright, we got rid of all the water. Um, I'm looking around here. We want the enchantment table to be centered. So that's the center. Um, this doesn't need to be a large room. going to have to take that wall back one. Oh shoot. Place those wrong. It's okay, we have plenty of uh, wood here. So what I like to do is make it three high. And then we need to take all this back one. That should still give us 30 levels. Yep. Okay. I want to finish the room, by the way, before I do anything with that. So, we just light up this area here. I don't really need to fill it in. Um, what I sort of want to do are, like, two tiny pillars going up here. Of spruce wood here. Ugh. I'm gonna grab my axe. I'm tired of breaking everything with my hand. Okay, so... I'm sure there's like a trick to doing it, but I'm just... Too lazy to learn that. Alright, so there's definitely a trick. Like, there's no way that. Alright. <laughs> I got it. So I think the room will probably be like dark place or something, just so I match up there. But anyways, um, I tend to use the same pillar design when I make these. Oh shoot. Now is that going to look too weird with that? That actually looks fine. Let me make 
a couple more stairs. I like that look a lot. I like how it gives that curved feel. Okay, so... The bookshelves, I sort of want to be... I, w I want them to be, um... Inside the wall. It really cuts off light. That could be cool. One space one. That could look pretty good actually. If I did it like well, now it's not working. So if I take out the pillar look, this might actually look better. I am terrible with making these logs go the way I want them to go. If I had it like that, <coughs> that was in the wrong spot. I guess I'd just carry these logs all the way back to. It looks like it's giving stability, I think. So I'd like one to go across. Is there a center point here? Yeah. So I don't know how this is going to work. I guess this way is the best way for this thing. to have it on this row. Alright, yeah, so I should have put it here. I put it in the wrong row. This is the one it needs to be on. Oh yeah, that looks good. Don't know if I'm gonna keep these stairs now, though. I think they're gonna go. And then I can go... I 
think I figured out how to make it work. You have to aim at the side that's near you, or something like that. It felt like it was right. Get some torches on the cliff bar here. I think that looks good. Just wait till it's finished. A solid design. Oh, yeah, there's more room out there. It's just like a tiny pool. Figured it wasn't necessary to do anything with it. I want to make it go down when I aim it. Yeah. I might need another one. Those are all one block apart. This one might need to be there. No. Something's got to change. Shoot. It might be these middle ones. I mean, I could add another one there, but I don't want it like in every other design. Like, I don't want it to be every other block. I don't know if that'll look weird without, because the ladder, I'm not going to be able to put a post. Is having a dead stop a weird, yeah. might actually be a better look. I mean, it the way it is. I think that's the best. That looks good. And then... This floor will all be... Um, planks. Dark planks. Fix the light. So that if I just take out these, turn them into planks as well. Huh.
I'm deciding here how I want the light. I don't know if I want it to like hang down at the cross. That looks bad. Yeah, I think that's not gonna work. Maybe just these center points. And two beside the ladder. better to have them on the posts. All three sides of each. Well, all sides of each post. Maybe if I raise them all. I think that would look the best. That looks pretty nice. And I guess planks will be the block choice for the way down. pretty nice. I'm happy with that. So, let's put these 30 levels on a diamond pickaxe. Hopefully it's a good... Ugh. I mean, it's not bad, but I need fortune or silk touch. That's pretty disappointing. Well, I like the room. And I'll get 30 levels soon enough. Hey, we're back. Um, got 30 levels. Want to end the episode for sure on a good enchant. So, here comes attempt number two. <sighs> Is that the same pickaxe I had before? Let's get it twice. Oh, they flip flopped. Yay. Well, okay. Third attempt, I think. Mother- There's- mm, <laughs> No reason to get mad over that. Alright, here we go. Attempt number four. Come on, Minecraft. Yes! Ooh, Minecraft, I love you. That's a great way to end the episode. <laughs> yes. I'm so tired of trying to get level 30 by mining. Next episode, I found something that we can use instead of having to mine my way to level 30. That is awesome, though. Fortune 3 is going to give me so much diamond. I will enchant all this into diamond, not projectile protection on everything. And I won't be getting this crap anymore. Yes. Alright. See you guys.